Officers of the Consumer Affairs Authority inspected seven unregistered paddy warehouses located in Dehi Attakandia today. Steps were taken to file a case against an unregistered warehouse and seal another warehouse. A heated situation arose between a group of farmers and officials at the paddy warehouse that was sealed in Dehi Attakandia recently. The Maha Sangha visited the location as well. <laughs> The Consumer Affairs Authority officials dispersed from the location after explaining the situation. The people in the country are of the misunderstanding that the farmers' paddy are being taken over by the government. However, the reality is the paddy that is being illegally stored in unregistered warehouses until the prices increase is being seized by authorities. If investigations confirm that the stock of paddy is owned by a certain individual, then it will be released. <laughs> The United Rice Mill Owners Association responded to this query today. Officers of Lanka Satosa refuel lorries belonging to Lanka Satosa and their personal vehicles using tax money returned to Colombo with 600,000 kilograms of rice. The 22 million people in Sri Lanka require 650,000 kilograms of rice per day. Were these officers able to recover rice that can be used to feed these people at least one meal? They have only wasted hundreds of thousands of rupees of tax. Before conducting raids in Polonarwa, you must conduct raids in Colombo. First, visit the Paddy Marketing Board next to Lake House. Then, visit the Department of Cooperative Development and the Food Commissioner's Department in Union Place. The Treasury has given 500 million rupees a year ago to the Food Commissioner's Department to maintain a safe stock of rice. This stock has not been transferred to the Veyangoda storage facility until today. Before you try to bring the private sector to the right path, correct the public sector. <laughs> The Minister of Trade explained the reason for the raid on rice mills today. They stopped the supply of rice to the market continuously. When tenders were called through the Satosa to purchase rice, they did not participate in these tenders. There was a situation where Satosa could not even get a grain of rice. There was an unscrupulous conspiracy to drive the prices high when there were rice shortages in the country. The president defeated this conspiracy after understanding it. He appointed the Essential Services Commissioner General. There were discussions, there were agreements that they will provide stocks without disruptions. That is why there were raids at major mills yesterday and stocks were obtained for Satosa. We have been informed by the Commissioner General and the officials of the Consumer Affairs Authority that these stocks will be released to the market. If the stocks are released by these businessmen properly, then there would be no need for such raids.